So you're headed to Thailand for your vacation and you're asking yourself, what's the best place to stay in Phuket? Is it the Phuket resorts or is it just the best hotel on the beach in Phuket that you can find? Well, we recommend you stay at the resorts because the resorts can control your experience. They can keep you away from the craziness that is the crazy tourist capital of the world that Phuket's become. And they have bubble baths. This resort's called The Slate. It's a luxury resort formerly known as the Indigo Pearl. Maggie and I actually came here nine years ago for our honeymoon and we're back again. And the reason we're back is because this is the most creative, artistic resort, most unique resort we've ever stayed at in our entire lives. Phuket, before the tourism industry, was known for the mining industry, tin mining especially. So they've taken all those elements of industry being copper, steel, rebar, gears, chains, and they've meshed it with uh, lush jungle tropical rainforest so every part of the resort is curated to give you this kind of steampunk, chic feel, and it's just the most unique thing we've ever experienced. Three swimming pools. The main one's right here behind me. It's very large, it's got nice water features, and it's surrounded by this rainforest jungle vegetation stuff. Uh, if it's too loud and noisy for you because all the little munchkins rolling around, they've got two other pools that are for adults only. One of them has a nice swim-up bar, and then the last one is an infinity pool, and it's very peaceful and quiet. talk about the room so you're staying at a luxury resort do you want to spend most of your money on the room or the experiences the room we're gonna show you is kind of like a the mid-range room you've got your basic rooms at the very other end you've got the private pool villas which we can't show you because we're not staying in one our room is quite nice though the beds incredibly comfortable the designs really cool just like the rest of the resort on the outside they have a bathtub which you saw in the intro and just a nice place to lounge on the balcony especially if it's raining out at the resort by the pool there's lots of activities you can do or your family they have archery lessons they have mountain biking they've got stand-up paddle boarding they've got kayaking uh, kite boarding did I say that kite boarding in addition to that there's lots of fitness classes there's yoga there's Pilates there's uh, Muay Thai which we tried and that was very interesting there's just tons to do you're probably not gonna get bored <laughs> Talk about the spa. I wouldn't normally spend too much time in a video doing a review of a resort talking about the spa, but this spa is probably the nicest spa I've ever seen. Uh, they have several deluxe rooms where you check in and you have a bath and a shower and they give you a massage. The prices are about comparable to America. You get two hours for $200 and considering how nice it is, I think it's a good deal. But the coolest thing is this signature room, which is like this giant, it's like a giant like wicker basket thing nest and you go up there and it's super secluded and quiet. And again, the design and creativity is top notch. Food and beverage, you're probably wondering about food and beverage, but first we're gonna tell you about beverage because that's how we roll on this channel. There's a few places you can have a drink. We're at the Tonga Tin Syndicate right now. It's like a Western themed steampunk kind of bar. There's another bar called the Rebar, which is upstairs above the Rivet Restaurant, a Japanese restaurant. And there's also the Swim Up Bar uh, at the adult only pool. And you can order drinks at the other pools if you want as well. Secondary to beverages is your food options. So there's 
quite a few restaurants you can eat at. You're gonna spend between 12 and $18 per meal. And here at the Black Ginger, we actually need a reservation. There's a set menu, it's like $35, and there's a more expensive one for $45. This will have side items you can order for like seven to $8, $10 and free rice, so. The restaurant's on a nice body of water and you have to take this raft to get back and forth to where the guests are staying to the restaurant. It's really cool, amazing ambiance here. raining it's the rainy season so it's raining what is that totally looks like a fish what is it doing There's why no... is the fish it's a fish out of water why is there a fish over here I'm too sick. Bye. oh 